Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So for today's video, I'm gonna be trying a bunch of Essence makeup. Everything is under five pounds, believe it or not. Except for one thing, which was five pounds, but yeah, it's just super affordable. You guys have been requesting me to try out Essence, especially Essence Mascara for the longest time. So I'm really excited for today's video. Today's post notification shout out is gonna go to Niav. So thank you so much for your really sweet comment and for hitting that bell button, I really appreciate it. And if you guys wanna get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. So yeah, let's waste no time and jump straight into this video. But as always, I start off with my brows and I'm using the Essence Brow Pomade Plus Brush. It's a long lasting, smudge proof, waterproof, Proof eyebrow product. What's so weird is that you have the brush on one end and a little pot of the pomade. I got everything from Wilkinson's. No, Wilco. It's Wilco? I think it's called Wilco. I rarely shop from them. But it's so hard to choose the right shades because I bought everything online. Now, I do feel like so many people love uh, essence but they're so underrated like not many people like know of them or use them but i've i've heard really good things about their products i'm just filling up my brows and so far the colors not bad i mean it's more on the red side i don't want to fill it out too much because the worst thing i hate is like block brows at the moment definitely a bit of red to it but i don't it's fine it's, it goes struggling to get this little sparse bit. I mean, I'm not mad at it, I'm not mad at it. I then got this brow gel, but I think it's too light. What shade is this? I got number one. I swear I do not get blondie brows. Like, I would know not to get blondie brows right, but I don't think I can wear this. I think I got ashy, ashy brows. I'm a bit annoyed now because this looks like a really good product itself, but the shade's just completely wrong, and I think I need to go over with another brow gel. If you guys are in the UK, how do you feel about another lockdown? I mean, this literally just feels like a nasty dream at this point, like, and I've always said, like, I've been such a big home person, I live with a bunch of people, so for me, it's okay, I'm working from home, but for others who are on their own, who, who love to go out or who are always on the move, this m must be a very difficult time for them, especially people living on their own. These are just weird times. We're gonna, like, grow old and have kids and, tell stories about this year because honestly i'm just i just want 2021 to come and just be a good year okay because i've just had enough i can't deal with it anymore by the way this brow product is not budging so so far i'm quite happy with the brow pomade i'm a, I'm a bit annoyed about this because i feel like it would have been a good product because it, it felt like it was keeping my brow hairs in place and there's little like fibers in here yeah it's got filling fibers we're gonna jump straight into the skin and I got the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation in the shade 240, which is Warm Honeycomb. Again, it was so hard to find my shade. There's not a lot of swatches online, so I really took a risk um, on getting this. Um, I also got the mousse, but I'm not going to use it today. But the mousse is gone ashy. Like, I just did the swatch and it goes straight away ashy, so I'm just not going to be able to use it. So yeah, let's hope this will go. It was quite thick. And it's definitely on the warmer side. It's blending very nicely, actually. Oh, oh! You don't need too much of it, actually, because it's on the medium thick side. The coverage is good. The shade is good so far. What really surprises me about this makeup is how affordable it is. Like, how did they get it to be so, so cheap? Let's just check how much this foundation is because I'm a bit shook right I'm a bit shook right now, okay? I'm just gonna let you know. The foundation was five pounds. Five pound foundation. What the hell's going on? And I think I got lucky with my shades. I'm really happy with the way this is applying. Literally the way I like my foundation at the moment, just skin-like. Dewy. Did you see this? Let's do this. Gotta put the brightness down, but looks pretty good to me. I'm a 
yeah okay so really pleased with that of course i got some concealer i got the camouflage matte concealer in the shade warm toast i think this will work out but we'll see this is an ultra covering liquid concealer with matte finish covers instantly Dark circles, blemishes, and tattoos. Okay, that's a strong statement there. Long lasting and waterproof. Doesn't really say much about the coverage, but if it can cover a tattoo, I'm guessing it's full coverage, right? It definitely smells like skincare. Like those old school skincare back in the day. I mean, I'm actually really shocked right now. Why is anyone talking about Essence, please? Uh, concealer is £2.80. But yeah, this looks really good so far, guys. I would say it's like medium coverage. I wouldn't say it's like that strong to cover tattoo. I literally have a tattoo and I'm gonna try right now. You can still see a bit of my tattoo there, but I mean, it's not it's not bad coverage either. So I would definitely say like it's medium to full coverage, but so far, really happy with that. So just to set that in place, I got the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I'll probably do a quick flash test at the end of the video. So I did get a bronzer, but the shade is just, it's called O2 Cool Tone and it's just wrong. Like this is not gonna show up on my skin. I know it won't, it's just so gray. Um, but I did just as a backup, I got this contouring duo palette, which I think will show up better. These are the shades in there. I'm going to try and use this. I just see this powder going patchy quite easily. So I'm just being a bit careful. The only thing I don't get about the lockdown is that, um, schools are open i mean i might as well just go get a uniform and pretend i'm a kid and just walk around as if nothing's on but the statistics are showing that the younger age groups are the ones that are spreading the virus i mean not intentionally but that is what the statistics are showing and yet the schools are still open so but on the, on the other hand i feel like education is so important and just keeping them out of school again is a major setback it's difficult like you can't tell me that every single kid is doing the amount of hours they should be of doing that they would do in school at home by themselves i know the teachers are supporting but it's not easy like imagine people parents who have three children four children that they have to tutor and do make sure that they're doing all the work and kids missing out on you know like socializing and school activities this is actually working pretty well the only thing is is that i'm mixing both the shades in so in the contouring palette i got the darker skin version i also did get this pretty blush it's called nude twilight it looks really like powdery but i'm not gonna lie it's showing up i'm using like the darker side of the ombre just gonna blend it in a bit the next thing i got is this choose your glow highlighter palette I'm gonna use this shade. This did come with the mirror broken. I'm not gonna lie, the palette does feel a bit tacky, but we'll see if the product is good. That's applying really beautifully without being like too ashy. Okay, these are really soft for sure. I don't need the other two shades because I just feel like they're way too light. But I mean, it's only five pounds. Right, let's move on to eyes. Now they don't have any eyeshadow palette as well. There weren't any on the Wilco website. So I got this sprinkled chrome eyeshadow in the shade Mars. And I'm just gonna apply this with my finger in the hopes this will be pretty. Just for fun, I got this lime long lasting eye pencil. I mean, it's so like, it's basically lime green, but I just wanted to try it. I'm just gonna put it on my lower waterline, but it's actually quite intense. I mean, it's not as intense as I would like it to be, but you can see it. One pound 50. 
and you see that hint of lime green that's so cool like i'm not mad at that it's definitely different to what i usually do okay now for the exciting part we're going to try the mascara i got the essence lash princess because i got a lot of recommendations for this and it had the most reviews it's definitely giving length because literally the mascara made my lashes touch my under eyes and now there's mascara on my under eyes mascara was three pounds thirty like damn it's so affordable and yet so good like what i love about this mascara is like it's gripping so nicely in the meantime i'm going to use the essence day eight hour lip liner this is in the shade famous which is a red which i didn't want a red i didn't think this was a red but i'm just gonna use it okay it's really creamy very satisfying to put on it's not as opaque than a usual lip liner no i think this is the this is me lipstick in the shade legendary just a cool tone nude that looks like this i think with the mixture of the lip liner it's giving it a mauve -y kind of look but it's so creamy so pigmented and that's actually a really nice lippy it smells like those old school lipsticks all right guys this is my full face of essence makeup and I'm so shocked at how these products work so well for me. Um, everything looks really nice. It's definitely more on the natural side, but just like it just gives all these products together just gave like a fresh faced look, which I absolutely love. I was quite disappointed about the shade of the brow gel, but you know, oh well, I did my best. Um, I did have to fix it there, but the brow pomade, it's actually not bad. I'm so impressed by the foundation and the concealer and the powder. The lippy is bomb. The, the lip pencil, I mean, it didn't really stand out to me, but what really shocks me about these products is how affordable they are. They are so cheap. Everything is under five pounds or is five pounds. Let's do a quick flash test. Oh my God, and everything looks so flawless. I mean, I'm not mad at that at all. With the powder passed the flash test. My skin looks really soft and smooth. Now the, the contour powder didn't really stand out to me honestly, like it's it works but like would I use it again? Probably not, it was, I could see like it was slowly going patchy so I had to be a bit more light handed with it and I had to do a lot of layers of it. So this was meh, the powder's okay, I actually kind of like the blush although it's very powdery. The concealer was actually not bad and I actually do see myself using these three, like the powder, the concealer and the foundation like on a daily where I just want a quick makeup. Oh my god, I did get liner. Let's do liner quickly. It's so tiny. I think this was so cheap as well. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Even this is bomb. What the hell's going on? How much is this? Liner's £2.30. It's so black and so easy to apply. Like I literally did that wing in like 30 seconds. Mascara is bomb, brown pomade is bomb, the liner is bomb, the eyeshadow, I mean, it was great. There's some fallout, but it's not like standing out to me. It's like not something that's just stood out. I hope you enjoyed this little tryout video. If you want more like these, let me know in the comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up so more people can see this video. And please also subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video.